Someone asked a question about how do I have a button on, say, the side of my screen and when I click it, a contact form slides in from, say, the left or right hand side, but it stays stuck to the side of the screen. I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to use a pop up. So we're going to do it on this page. What we're going to do first is we're going to go to Elemental Templates. We're going to go Add New to the template and we're going to pick pop up and I'm going to call this contact form. OK, you would give it probably a more reasonable, better name or whatever you want. I'm going to fly through this, by the way, okay? So we're just going to not use any of these sections. I'm going to use a standard section, okay, over here. We're just going to create it. I'm going to give it a boxed width of about, uh, we'll go with about, uh, we'll go with 500, in fact. And I'm now just going to drop into here a form. Now, I'm not going to style this form, by the way, okay? This is for you to go away and play with and do what you want with it, right? So I've got my section, which is a box width 500. We'll have no gap at the moment. I've just added in a little bit of padding there to the section as well. Now, you can mess around with the form, how it looks and everything. That is entirely up to you, okay? I'm now just going to hit the cog down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Make sure you don't miss it because that is the setting for the pop-up. When you're in an elemental page and you hit that, that goes to page settings. This is for the pop-up. I'm going to say that the horizontal is stuck to the right. See that? I just hit the position. That's how you do it. The vertical, I'm going to leave in the middle. I quite like that. Will we have an overlay color? Yeah, I think so. It makes sense. And we'll have the close button over there. The entrance animation, I'm going to say fade in from the right. And I'm saying the exit animation is fade out on the right as well because it's coming from the right. So it comes in and it goes out again. OK, that's pretty OK. You can even do slide in as well if you want. Now, the width of this, I'm going to make it be 500, which now is too small because I've just remembered. Uh, let me make it about 600. Yeah, we'll go with 600. That's OK. So the section in the pop up is 500, but the pop up is 600 to give me a bit of padding, etc. You can obviously see it's not absolutely perfect, but play around and get it exactly right. In terms of styling, this is for the pop up, remember? This is where we can go to overlay and we could maybe change the overlay color. So I might decide I'm going to go for more of like a, a dark purpley color, maybe something like that. And with the close button, you can decide on the sizing and how it's going to look and the color scheme and all of that. That is not the focus of this tutorial, but this is like pop ups really like just going through it A to Z really quickly there. The other thing also with the advanced tab on the pop up is you might want to decide or set up. Well, is this going to close automatically? Not a good idea. Prevent closing on overlay. Um, I would say no. So the user might click that because they don't want to hit the X symbol. They can just jump straight out of it. I would say disable page scrolling though. So I would disable that and I would also avoid multiple pop-ups. If you've got other pop-ups on the screen as well, this can be super annoying. It goes do 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 loads and loads on the screen. It's like being back in the, you know, going back 10, 15 years ago when pop-ups were galore. So that is okay. And I'm not going to touch anything else on here. I'm now going to publish this. And I'm not going to set any conditions. Zero conditions here, OK, because this is going to be activated by a button. So we just hit save and close. Great. Cool. Now we go back to our page where we're going to activate it. I'm going to go over here and I'm now just going to pick up a button. I don't care where I drop it. I'll just drop it over there. I'm going to change this button to actually be an icon. So I'm going to put an uh, envelope instead, like uh, we'll go with that one there. We'll do an envelope symbol instead. And I'm going to get rid of the wording like that. I'm going to have it in the sent note. I'm going to have it. Actually, it doesn't really matter where you do it in center or anything like that. Um, I'm just going to go to uh, over here where we have the link. Now, this is important. This is not going to link to a page or something. This is going to link to the pop up. So when I go over to dynamic tags, I will scroll down over here. So it was over here, right? Let me do it again. You click dynamic tag. You scroll down until you get to pop up. You then click the spanner or the wrench and over here we have open pop up and I'm now going to type a uh, contact. In fact, I've got quite a few called that uh, contact. There is contact form, right? So that is now going to summon the contact form. OK, obviously here at this point now you would go in and do your styling or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, let's just go with this purple button here, for instance. OK, you would also start to adjust your padding as well. In fact, before we do that. I'm just going to go and adjust the uh, the size of the icon. Let's go to typography. Let me just increase that to be like that. 
Let me also make the color of the icon to be white. Right, cool. Now we just go back to the button and this is where you can mess around with your padding now. So you might want to go with like a 10, 10. The reason I'm doing it in piecemeal is because it's always a bizarre one, but the right always seems to have more than it needs to be. And I think the top and bottom can just be about five. Let's just pretend I've got a button looking like that, okay? You could have um, a, a header field that also summons the button as well or whatever, and you could rotate it. Remember, you've got like the transform functions over here in Elemental Pro. Don't forget those. So now we've got the button, but it's positioned over here. It needs to be on the right-hand side of the screen. So I'm going to go over to positioning for the button. This is all really, really important. I'm going to set this to be fixed. Why? That means that button is always over there, no matter where you scroll up and down the screen. If you have it absolute, it will only be there for that section. If you want it to be there for every section on your page, you're going to set this to be a fixed. Now, a tip I will give you, though, I've done this on the page. If you were going to do this throughout your website, I recommend that when you're creating your header over here, you create it in the header. You create it in the header and you position it so that no matter where, what page you're on, if that header is activated, it will always appear. So that's my tip. If you do it on the page, you've got to duplicate it every other page, which is fine if you duplicate pages from the home page. But, um, oh yeah, I, I should skip it, go back a bit. That pop-up menu, I um, pop-up contact form I just did, please make sure you check it in tablet and mobile. Don't just do desktop and go, yeah, I did it. Make sure you do it in the mobile view as well. So this, what I've done at the moment with this button is I've done it on the page. My recommendation would be go to your header do it in there and it will then appear on every page galore, which is fantastic. But then again, you might not want it to appear if you have a separate contact form page. So have a think about that. Right. So we have currently made this a fixed. And as soon as we've done that, look, this is default. OK, and we are going for fixed. It's now gone to the top. Now, when I click the horizontal orientation, it's not moving left or right. If that happens, all you've got to do is just go up to the width here and set that to be custom. OK. Sometimes it will move. If it doesn't move, it's just because of where you've placed it on the page or the column or whatever. Just hit custom and it is still fixed and it is now going to be left or right. In terms of the orientation here, I'm going to hit uh, vertical. I'm going to hit VH and I'm going to type 50. It is now at the 50% point of your page. I mean, it's, it, I have to be honest, though, it's not completely 50 because I have a header at the top. So I might want to adjust that. And I'm going to go with there. So I've adjusted it manually. Here's what's really cool about this, right? I'm just going to update. Look, that button is always going to appear there no matter what I do. OK, no matter what section I'm in, that is brilliant. But then when I click it, the overlay appeared. Right, let's do that again. OK, look, look, I click it, the overlay appeared and the contact form slid in from the right. You could have it from the left, the top, the bottom, wherever you want. OK, you click that, it closes. Let's do it again. You click the overlay, so, oops, sorry, you click the overlay and it closes. So that is a really simple, easy way of using pop-up, uh, fixed or absolute positioning for a button to summon your pop-up and make it appear wherever you want. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, please share, make sure you're following and I'll see you soon.